What a troubling sign on Bay Area beaches. Another whale washing ashore, this time in Pacifica on Lindemar Beach. In the past four months, a dozen dead whales have washed up on Bay Area shores. We're rocking and rolling up here. A longtime Tahoe dweller, Lynn Thompson, shaken by a morning earthquake. This summer, I have felt two of the strongest that I've ever felt. The most recent quake was part of a sequence that started late last month. Well, this area has seen a number of earthquakes over the last month. Also new at 11, three more dead whales popping up in San Francisco Bay. The Marine Mammal Center confirming the recent discoveries in a news release this morning. Now, it says that the whales are believed to have washed ashore between April 27th and May 4th in Tiburon, the Port of Oakland, and Angel Island State Park. Now, due to the locations, the mammals being inaccessible and unsafe, the center says they have not determined their cause of death. NBC Bay Area's investigative unit, they've been tracking the cause of all of these dead whales popping up in the San Francisco Bay. We begin with breaking news in the Lake Tahoe area. A series of earthquakes that caught a lot of people's attention tonight. The largest of the quakes, a 4.7 magnitude. The sun heard really loud, kind of like movement and could tell the walls. It felt like the walls were going to fall in. Um, and the lamp started shaking. Dogs started barking. Felt like it lasted a minute. It was probably only about 15 seconds, but it was the strongest earthquake I've ever felt. She's not the only one who felt it. Lots of people felt it, not just in the Tahoe region. The quake was widely felt. People reported feeling it even here in the Bay Area. Actually, three earthquakes near Independence Lake. That's about 10 to 12 miles north of Truckee. Right here north of Truckee. Now, doing some research on the faults in the area, we did see the largest, closest fault to all of this activity. It's called the Polaris Fault. And here's the real interesting thing about this. It was discovered in 2011. So this is definitely a fault to pay attention to. Now, this did get me thinking, of course, about the Bay Area. Did some tracking here. Five earthquakes the past 24 hours but again, much, much smaller, 1.1 to a 2.4. And you know what? Some shaking up there in Tahoe today, rattled by a quake this morning, and it was felt all the way down here in the valley and in Sacramento, a magnitude 4.2 quake hit right in the middle of the lake. It was followed by several aftershocks, too. It even interrupted a meeting of the Nevada State Legislature, shaking the plexiglass that was right in front of a speaker. Clearly going up in price and... I'm going to speed up my presentation. <laughs> we saw ripples on the lake afterwards as well, like, you know, little whip ripples. There were no boats. He says the major faults under Tahoe are likely more than a thousand years overdue to rupture. Tracking that 3.6 earthquake that woke a lot of people up in the South Bay early this morning. Take a look at this map. This is where the epicenter was when the shaking started. A quick reminder that a lot of people, the most common fault that they know about is the San Andreas Fault. However, this one happened on the Calaveras Fault. So for those of you who are new to the Bay Area or maybe don't know, we actually have six significant fault zones. But we did talk to a number of people who did feel it. Uh, here's what they had to say. Well, I was, you know, it woke me up, so it was just a shake, and then I, I didn't know, you know, what it was. I didn't know something fell in the house, but then there was that second shake, and I was like, okay, that was definitely an earthquake. <laughs> yeah, it was too scary because I see everything move. When like, for like 10 seconds, everything move. They're a little bit scary, yeah. 3.6 is, re so is respectable. I mean, it that's is. like a, a decent wake-up call, yeah, you know? Yeah, you'd certainly expect <laughs> to feel some shaking in the area, so stay tuned. NBC Bears Robert Honda spent the day asking the experts what they think is happening and how we can change it. Well, human activity is back to normal here at Lindemar Beach, but now many people want to see some changes in how we deal with all the Bay Area whale activity. Since the 12th dead whale found in the Bay Area this year, a 47-foot gray whale washed up Friday and was removed Sunday. An endangered fin whale that just washed ashore at Fort Funston is the fifth whale dead in or around the bay in just the past month. 
It says the most recent whale was too decomposed to get any clues about a cause of death, meaning eight of the 12 recent Bay Area cases have not been resolved. Center biologist Bill Keener says the whales are turning up in the Bay Area looking for food. What the speculation is is that climate change could be affecting the food resources in the Arctic. Like there's less uh, sea ice in the winter that could be having effects on the food web. The sheer number of whale deaths in such a short period of time does have scientists concerned. He says whales have only recently been coming into the bay itself, sometimes staying for weeks and actually feeding here, which never used to happen. This is something brand new in the last decade. Thousands of birds are being found stunned, confused, or dead near the World Trade Center Memorial. And bird advocates say a glass railing might be to blame. The New York City Audubon Society says this happens most during the spring and fall migration period. In the World Trade Center area, more than 1,200 stunned or dead birds were found in the fall. Migrating birds are colliding into tall buildings and dying in huge numbers. 